They are two of the funniest, best looking, best bearded men on TV. I'm Jake Blecka. 199. There you go. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm Justin Blecka. Oh shit! 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 Wow, I jumped right against it. <laughs> They're known as the Carpenter Brothers. For years, they've been the brains and brawn behind the scenes of some of your favorite shows. Punked, The Voice, Jim Henson's Creature Shop, Brother vs. Brother, and Cupcake Wars. And now we're taking our skills on the road to rediscover America and restore Americana. Here we are in Cabazon, California. Home of the world's largest dinosaurs. <laughs> And this week, we've been challenged with building another one of those. I'm thinking something like this. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, the pictures were a little bit deceiving. This is kind of like the Flintstones version of something that's supposed to be scary as hell. Yeah. Right. Look at these freaking claws. I should be wetting myself when I walk <laughs> up here. When we're done with these things, people will be dragging screaming kids from miles and miles away to line up to crawl up inside of this thing. I've got, I've got concerns. And we're going into a small town, very conservative. If we show up there with Elvis wearing strip boots, skin tight leather pants, and beard that actually has another little guy with a beard growing out of that beard, we're gonna have problems. <laughs> there we go. All right, this week Jake and I are taking on our biggest challenge ever. We are rebuilding this Pioneer Town Saloon. My name is Lee Clark, and since my Pioneer Town Saloon has fallen into disrepair, we've lost a lot of money. We need help. What is the ideal saloon companion in a pioneer town? You got the Not saloon, the bathhouse, bad. and jail. People go get drunk and screw up. The town's got to make money. We travel, they go from the saloon yeah. to the bathhouse to jail. There you go. This saloon does look like it's been here for a hundred years. She's a beauty. Yeah. It's like an old timey lawnmower. Well, let's go see if we can make a deal with this guy for it. Let's get Elvis over here to wash all that bird shit off. Elvis, bird shit duty. So we can't just show up with a, a truck full of new lumber like this. They expect it to work. We're gonna have to age it down, we're gonna have to paint it, we're gonna have to scenic it so it looks like it's been here for forever. Lucky for us, we've got a lot of beautiful minds that can make a project like this happen. Beautiful minds? Beautiful minds, it just came to me, bro. <laughs> Boom! This is great motion for television. <laughs> I'm trying to get a real authentic look. It might not have been weathered back in the day, but it is today and that's what people expect to see. You want something crusty and old timey. Every pioneer town has to have an outhouse. They didn't have running water, right? You gotta poop in the hole. <laughs> Nobody wants to see all your junk happening. I see that's gonna be comfortable level, and then, you know, I think I think it's a let's go six and a half feet. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. Brian, who's a carpenter, jack of all trades, guy can build anything. This isn't a thing that's gonna sit here for a week. It's gotta last, right? It's gotta last. So you are you really wearing a G string today? Of course. I wear one every day. Will you show it? You, it, Ryan? you did, right? <laughs> he really does wear a G string, Jake. Dude, I would not show anybody else that down here. Come sit down on this thing. Now we just gotta figure out what kind of uh, kind of a butt print to cut out of that thing. Don't get it on the drop. Don't get it on the wheel tail. Just head in lower. All right. Lower, quick around a little bit. We need a good print. As you can see, our work here is done. This huge door for the saloon has added a whole nother dimension. I've never seen anything like this. My breath is taken away. It's such an easy thing. It's this I hit you with the hammer. Shoulders. It's easy. I thought I was supposed to hit you with the hammer. Dick face. And then you're supposed to. Yeah. Are you not going to hit me? I thought you were going <laughs> to. Take a look at this face. This furry, furry, sad, sad face. With a little bit of your help, we can take our skill sets on the road, rediscover America, and rebuild some Americana. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs>